Welcome back to another Science Logic Digital Challenge. I'm joined here by Tom Needs of Node4. Hi. Hi, Tom. You're the CEO there for Node4, aren't you? Actually, yeah. the Chief Operations Officer. Yeah, get that one right. Yeah. So, um, digital transformation, there's a huge buzz around this particular word right now. Is it something that we're actually, is it, is it real for a starter? And also, yeah. uh, or is it just all hype? And secondly, leading on to that, what are the challenges then in that case, those, those core challenges with this yeah. buzzword? So. Okay, so I think, I think, yes, there is a huge amount of hype around digital transformation at the moment. Um, it is a bit of a buzzword out in the market that catches so many different things that businesses are trying to do at the moment. I mean, just speaking of my customers, I'd say the majority of those customers are on a transformational journey of some description, whether it's driving a new application stack across their core business processes, whether it's trying to look at the kind of the cost profile of the way they're running their IT estate and moving from a CapEx model to an OpEx model, for example, um, or whether it's kind of thinking about moving much more to a, a software as a service kind of option for their key applications and taking advantage of the hyperscalers kind of public cloud environments for the agility and the flexibility that comes with that. So I think I think one of the key challenges is that you can't pigeonhole it and assume that every customer is on the same journey. Every customer is on a journey of some description. Their destination and their starting points might be very different, but they're certainly traveling in a direction that is, is changing their IT estate for the future to give them benefit and, and kind of ultimately um, handle disruptive kind of market changes that they're all facing. Yeah, no, and, and like we said previously, just before we came on camera, yeah. you've got loads of different companies from your startups all the way through to yeah. you know your hyperscalers like you said so it's really tailoring it to them isn't it absolutely is yeah so leading on from that how do you help clients address the key challenges then um, and give us some examples none specifically yeah. but somebody potentially that you've helped with with these challenges with okay. digital transformation so i think that the key starting point for all of this is understanding what is the board agenda so what are the what, are the, what is the board driving for? What are the strategic priorities? What are the pressures they're facing? What is the market kind of pressure they're facing and under? What, what, what challenges they're trying to solve? So, so for us, that's the starting point. And that gives us kind of the ultimate destination a customer's got to go to. We then kind of boil that back into understanding the specific workloads that they're managing and the kind of the direction of travel for each of those workloads and also the constraints around those workloads, you know, the, the kind of the commercial constraints, the risk constraints, the security constraints, data governance, etc. So they're all the things we need to consider when we're architecting the right platform for our customers. But one thing we think about for all of our customers is, is kind of future proofing it. So so every customer, you know, they're not boxed into a particular solution solution. We could always kind of push them forward uh, with kind of new variants of cloud or or the other services that we can provide as well. And, and a particular example of this is we've had a very long term uh, financial services customer um, taking co-location services from us and also networking services. And we've recently kind of completely changed the profile of the business that we're working for them now. So we're ultimately delivering a significant infrastructure as a service platform linked into Azure for, for, for data archiving and, and a kind of all the connectivity that comes with that as well. So they are not all the way through their kind of transformation, but certainly on their way now and have many, many options ahead of them. Yeah, I think the important thing that you picked up on there was future proofing. Yes. It's something that I think all businesses no matter what are always thinking of so leading on to that as well yeah. what are you planning on with your clients next time around or potentially yeah, a few so, years to come um, so that's, we're, we're focusing at the moment significantly around data so a common uh, theme across all our customers is that they have amassed a huge amount of data over the years you know they have you know storage devices full of it they have backup tapes full of it and really you know for us and I think a lot of CEOs and boards are putting pressure on their CIOs now to actually harness the benefit or the value within the data they store. What's it actually telling us? What's the insight we can gain for that? So we're working with a number of customers now to actually architect kind of data solutions for them so they can actually unlock the real potential and value of their data and ultimately give them the leap in the market that they operate in. Exciting stuff. Yeah, it is. Tom, pleasure as always. Thank Thanks you. for coming on and giving My us pleasure. more of an insight. So cheers, cheers for that. Thank you.